Oh god, how do you play this game again? <clears throat> um... Every time. <laughs> every time. Every, every, every time. Every time. You can keep asking me, but I'll never answer you. I'm gonna go poopy, but, I, but standing up. <laughs> <laughs> how do you play that game again? <laughs> Pooping while standing. <laughs> the game. Ask like oh, a no. horse or something. Degree of fatigue. How do you- you can interpret my fatigue from my pee? You know, there's probably a lot of things that you could technically interpret from your pee. Ah. Uh, I have questions. Oh! We made a- we, we made a huge mistake, by the way. What? I'd have to tell you this, because you're gonna be like, what? Oh no, Keith, what did we do? Uh... I'll look at mail, because I don't care about mail. Just trying to look for the face. There's somebody we should have recognized, because we care about them as a person. But we didn't recognize them. And it reflects bad on us. We're like, oh no, what have we done? There we go. Can you tell me who that is, Stephanie? <clears throat> no, who? <laughs> I'm scared. Who is that, Keith? That's Edgar Wright. Oh no! <laughs> we didn't notice Edgar Wright is in this game. Which I'm starting to think Junji Ito likes all the same manga artists and, direc and directors. You, said, you, that said, I you do. said Junji Ito. I'm starting to think that, uh, God damn it. I almost said Miyazaki. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta start over before anyone sees it. Hideo this. Kojima. Yeah, Kojima. I'm starting to think that Kojima watches all the same movies and reads all the same manga that I do. Because I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> Nicholas Winding Refn, Norman Reedus, Junji Ito, and Edgar Wright all in one game. <laughs> And Guillermo del Toro. Like, like I said like, before, like I said before, I don't recognize directors because I yeah. don't. It's not like I would. Yeah, I've seen him before, but it's harder because he doesn't have the. He, he's got like big flowing hair. He's got like a lot, and he's. But they have to. Like, We've just like, been calling him scared he's guy. Like awkwardly, we, we. I think we look call him sad guy. Well, no, he looks like he's scared. Yeah. Oh yeah, or sad. He's yeah. just, like, he's gloomy Gus. But, like he, 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 it's not a, it's not a great, like it's. It's, it's Dude. Like, it's weird. It simultaneously is not a because I, I looked at him and it's like it's not a low quality scan, but also it doesn't look like him somehow. Well, you know, <laughs> it's hard I'll explain. probably remember what he looks like now because of this experience. Because I don't think I've ever actually yeah. seen his face before. Because so. Guillermo del Toro looks like Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, and I didn't yeah. know who this guy was, but I've heard of his movies, but I hadn't heard of him yet. I just because that was the guy I googled on a whim. I was like, we were just in the mood of googling. Well, that's what that's what I was telling you. Word. I was like, I was like, he's got such a specific beard. Yeah. He's got to be somebody. We were sure that everyone we don't recognize must be someone, like a director or something, and we were right. But we never we never investigated generic white guy. Well, I think I think maybe everybody Genetically, like is oh, somebody is that an important guy or is that like some dude? I don't know. Tell us, please. But like, no, it was fucking Edgar Wright, best director. <laughs> King director of all the directors. <laughs> he he is like he's pretty fucking good. He's pretty fucking good. Um, like he's like he's like like he's like potentially he's definitely like top five for me. Like I really like ten to I, I love ten ten Quarantino. Quentin uh, Tarantella. <laughs> I really like Quentin Tarantino. And I really like Edgar Wright. And I'm a little, I'm I'm just and I really like Ryan Johnson, but I'm slightly cagey just because he hasn't made a lot of movies yet. And also, I'm slightly cagey on Nicholas Winding Refn because he's also made like three movies so far. So I'm like waiting for both of them to do more before yeah, I'm like committed yeah. to them. Whereas like, who's I've, the guy that I've did... seen like five great Edgar Wright movies now? So I'm like, yes. There's the guy that did Nightcrawler. That was like, that, that was great. pretty. Yeah, but he made that movie for Netflix, and I was so bummed out about That's it. That's not remember? good. <laughs> but saw's not good. Yeah, uh, no. But, but saw Jelly Pop. What was it called? <laughs> Lollipop Buzzsaw. <laughs> 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 I might like it better. Velvet if it Buzzsaw, was there we go. Velvet Buzzsaw. Velvet Buzzsaw was not great. Even though fucking Nightcrawler was like a career making I know, I was super like, movie. That's why I'm like hesitant to say, like, oh, I like that person or not. Yeah. I have to wait until they've got like like Darren Aronofsky level or like um the one that never gets it wrong for me are the uh Cohen like well, I don't either of the Cohen's or together the Cohen's, sometimes they work together, sometimes they don't. The Cohen's, every one of their movies, not a single one have I not liked. They're great. I love their style. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that'd be one of my top list people. But my, I think they are for my me, top. For me, the problem with the Cohen brothers is that I haven't watched enough of them yet. Oh, I've everything. I've watched some of them. I'm like, I love. I this. almost could put money on it if if they do it. If they, if they're mainly in charge of it, because there are some of them where they're, they're like maybe a writer or they're. But like, I have watched all of Fargo. Or they're like all a, three um, seasons. They're in it, but they're like not. And it's great. They don't direct it. Anything that they've directed <clears throat> and have been a part of, mainly, I have liked. I would put money on it. Okay, we have to reach the inverted rainbow. So okay, we have okay. to power through to that. The situation after the first Death Stranding incident. 
There was a series of huge explosions. Well, not much a series. They were simultaneous, worldwide. The global comms infrastructure was shot to hell, but we salvaged what we could and tried to make sense of what had happened. It didn't seem like much at the time, but it was a hell of a lot better than what we have now. Anyway, the government figured out the whole thing was a terrorist attack at first. We'd been dealing with a lot of those back then, but it didn't seem to take long, uh, but it didn't take long to see what it was. Something else. The craters left by the blast were bizarre. There was no rubble, no dust even, which led scientists to rule out meteor strikes. There was trace neutron radiation, alpha rays, but we knew it wasn't nukes either. Some of the particles we detected we'd never even seen before, chiralium, although we didn't know it at the time. The more we studied them, the more our scientists came to the, site, the same conclusion. These are the results of the annihilation events. It was, right, uh, it was right about the time that the chiral cloud started to form. And after that, all communication with the outside world went down for good. I, I just had to read this because the title's No Blue in the Inverted Rainbow. This sounds but like a... I just um... want to know what that means. It's Dead Man. He doesn't talk very much. Maybe because he's dead. <gasps> uh, I can read that one. Sure. Um, also, th this sounds like a Dio, like a title of a Dio song or something. It just <laughs> sounds pretty badass. Ride the tiger. Oh my god, oh, I love that song. Anyways, okay. <clears throat> we humans are complex, multicellular organisms. 60 trillion cells inside each one of us, they say. How many of these cells need to die for us to consider a person dead? Are there any cells in particular which determine whether a person is alive or dead? These questions are academic, of course. The exact point of death can't be calculated using cell counts. On the other hand, no one can deny the existence of degenerative diseases that gradually destroy more and more cells, leaving their victim effectively half-dead. And what about me? Most of my organs have been harvested from other people. They still work, of course, but could their original owner have been said to be alive? I really don't know. Incidentally, have you ever heard of a fun little experiment they once did with roundworms called C. elegans? These creatures are notable for glowing bright blue when exposed to UV light, but only when they die. It seems to be a reaction from the anthralic acid within the organism, and it's known as death fluorescence. Yep, that's right. Blue is very much the color of death, it seems. Can it therefore really be a coincidence that there's no blue in an inverted rainbow? Timefall strengthens an area's connection to the beach. This is something to do with chiral particles being excited, I believe. In spaces connected to the beach, electromagnetic waves of blue wavelength can travel easily through the seam leaking out onto the beach. Some people think that's where the blue from the inverted rainbow goes. Who knows? The fact that blue has a strong connection to death, though, that much seems pretty inarguable. There's a lot to unpack there. I also can't just kick it over these names. Die Hardman, Deadman, and Hartman. Hmm. And Die Hardman almost feels like a hybrid of the other two names in some weird way. So he just dropped the bomb in the middle of that all of his organ or a lot of his organs are yeah, from we, other people's bodies. We just, just throw that in there, <clears throat> like nonchalant, you know? Like really casually, they're like, yeah, just... See, elegance. Like there's something about him being called Dead Man that means something. Those those worms in real life... Oh, you know, I, I think that's the reason why I know them. I was going to say it sounds familiar, but it's because I think those are the round worms that also infect animals. I've heard a lot about those. People actually do a lot of studies on those in real life. Hmm. So I, I'm actually going to look that up later and see if some of that's true, because <laughs> I'm actually interested. So many likes. Calm down, y'all. Calm down. Everyone's just so happy that you're back. Hey. Rub Mike Cock. Honky <laughs> Tonky. <-tonky. laughs> Is somebody named Rub Mike Hawk. <laughs> Great. That's thanks, a... for, thanks for the likes, buddy. <laughs> hey, man. It sounds like someone that, um, in The Simpsons, when Bart Simpson would answer to the phone at Moe's. They shot him. He pointed a gun at BB. How dare they? Well, I pointed a gun at him. Hello, car. Hey, Sam. I have some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. 
No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges One was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire. To start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose. A fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. Well, <laughs> well that, that got confusing fast. <clears throat> like every uh, every element of that got completely confusing, I think. Well, well okay. Uh, earlier <laughs> in a different in an earlier episode I was talking about, hey, isn't it weird that they have all this technology that seems so specific that they don't know anything about it? Well, yeah. no kidding. You think that you would you would someone would have figured this out earlier. And secondly, of course BBs are controversial. They're babies. That, that's like they were a bunch of babies. So I mean, someone had to come up with that idea and then it, like act on it. So yeah, let's take these. Somebody babies. came up with this terrifying idea. Then all the research was destroyed, and no one knows how they works now. But we're still using them anyway, which yeah. even is more confusing. So we stopped using them, and then we started using them again. But no one, no one like realized that this was something that had already happened. City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal. Well, that's terrifying. And that city? It's called Fern Gully, not City. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What do we do? As, uh, I loved that movie as a kid. I was very, like, hippy dippy, I guess. Hippy dippy. Yeah, I guess I'm still a little bit like that. They call me hippy dippy. Someone does, I'm sure. You can start calling I... me that. <laughs> How confusing is this menu at this point? <clears throat> Has it ever not been confusing? It's just it's just the bar is really long now. 
So here's in the cart. Here's what I'm currently recycling on the shelf. Here's in storage, which is no storage. There's all the stuff on my bed. But then there was also stuff on a cargo. There was like a resource specific rack on the vehicle, I think, which is gone now because I just marked those for all recycling. But then here's what's on my back, and here's what's attached to my suit that's not on my back. And here's my tool rack, and here's my boot clip, and here's my grenade pouch, and here's my utility pouch, and here's my Cairo crystals, and here's what I'm equipping. <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of like in it's a lot. <laughs> it's kind of like in real life where you're like, I, I also need like a coffee pot then for a coffee pot i need coffee cups and then i need coffee creamer and then i need coffee filters and then it's like oh and now i have a pressure cooker and i needed this for that and i needed that it kind of reminds me of like why a lot of video games have a visually organized interface for items that are in their inventory like uh like the idea of like visibly separating the truck from your body from whatever is in your little racks you're dragging around for example <clears throat> into like a series of windows or tabs or something or like the way that you like stuff on your body shows up on like a screen like it's like a like a you know like an rpg has like a body shaped inventory screen that shows where the th all the like the tiles of the things like this is my head item and this is my leg item yeah 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 so on like they try to <laughs> d differentiate some of these things because this is such a it's just a giant vertical list you just kind of keep going well it's kind of funny because I, I think maybe in real life we do these things without thinking about them we like organize our lives in a specific way but you don't think about it because it's inherent to you this is like separate from you so you have to be able to look at it on like a like on a on a list and organize it that way I don't know, it's, it's kind of odd. In real life, like, you pack a backpack, and you're like, well, I have my hat on my head, and I've got my backpack, and it's got this, this, and this in it. Do I have everything? Yep. Yep. Better take this antimatter bomb, handle with care. <laughs> my boots are in good condition. Like, I'm good. What could, what could go wrong? But I don't want a that gun. That firearm can be loaded with thematic rounds. It's fitted with a dot sight as well. Shouldn't prove your aim. Well, oh, thanks, guns Mama. Are, guns are bad. See, well, the thing about the like in a game where they start and they hand you a gun, it's like, well, now I have more responsibility. <laughs> I have more things I've got to kill now. No. So the more guns you have and the more weapons you have, the more things you got to kill, and the more difficult it's going to be. I'm partly sad that I have a power skeleton rank like two or three now, but I can't build one. So it's like I just got to keep that one alive. Because as long as that guy keep that around, I've got one. But it, once it's gone, I'm like, oh. You don't have the you don't have the schematic for it. No. I, what happened is uh, Norman Reedus's weird marble statue threw it at yeah. me during that boss fight. Oh, that oh that was. So it just gave me a better exosuit than the one I have. I didn't realize that it was better than the yeah. one you had. In the middle That's of really that boss nice. fight, they threw me like a rank three or whatever, and I'm like, what do I? Ha this just happened. <laughs> Thanks, porcelain Norman Reedus. At least there's non there's non lethal guns. I guess. Are you gonna try to do a non lethal run? Yeah. Obviously. Oh well. Oh yeah. I guess. I was doing non lethal runs of Hideo Kojima games before they made death a massive metaphor and important thing. Because they're they're living people. <laughs> Why would you murder them when there's a non lethal gun right next to the lethal gun? <laughs> it just seems like a weird, shitty choice to make. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like to be shitty people in the games that I play. The shittiest people. The shittiest people. But up, up. But um, bum. I uh, it gets all the it gets all the all the angst out of me. Oh me, it's <laughs> me again. In my wretched way of life. <laughs> Have you heard that song? No. But I it's, thought you were just talking to yourself. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's the best Megadeth song. It's fucking stupid. Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. And if the bomb goes <laughs> off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. The kind we can't come back from. Yeah, if you blow but everyone down, up, down. if you're blowing everyone up, Keith, then you're doing it wrong. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's not what you do. This is blowing my mind here with these crazy ideas. Want to see how bad I fucked this up? This might be the one mission where I finally die horribly and fail. We, I, I think my only death ever was in a dream thing, right? 
Yeah, I yeah. Would, technically it wasn't. I might finally fuck up. I don't know. We'll see. I have to travel. I have to carefully transport a bomb through the mountains, probably under a time limit. <laughs> Yay! But no, but no, there is a Megadeth song where was it, was it, is it Steve Mustaine? Is it the guy from Megadeth? Uh, I don't Dave know. Mustaine, I think. Uh, he unironically is singing like that the entire song. It's incredible. Hello, me. It's me again. You don't... In my wretched way of life. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me a migraine headache. <laughs> <laughs> this scene is incredible. It's one of the best fucking songs ever made. It's so stupid. <laughs> I love it. You're pretty good at impressions, Keith. You could just you could just start singing for Megatron. <laughs> Uh, how the fuck are we gonna do this? Did they do the, the Pied Piper song? Go there and see. Uh, I don't know that much Megadeth. No, the, um, me neither, to be honest. But the, uh, the Symphony of Destruction, that's a Megadeth song. And I think the, the lyrics in that song are not written the best, but it's a fun song to sing anyway. Oh yeah, no, a lot of the... Megadeth is, is better Metallica. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just more fun to listen to across the board and less disastrously self-serious. Because Mega, De like Metallica, Metallica, seems so full of themselves. Well, and yeah. Exhausting. The only with Metallica, I feel like the fans of Metallica are really they, they take it very seriously. At least the ones I've met. Yeah. So I get the impression that Metallica themselves takes themselves really seriously. But in general, they're not that hard. They're not that hard of a band. Like they're not that heavy. No, they're not. I know a lot of like, they're like barely metal by the standards of the rest of what people have out there. I listen to like lard and stuff. Like I don't know what I listen to. I don't even know what you want to fucking call that. But like, I don't know. Loud angry things. Loud angry things. I like listening to the loud angry things. But I don't really like scre screaming. I also listen though. to LAT. <laughs> oh, that's my new band. The LA loud, LATs. Loud angry things. L loud angry things from LA. Ah, somebody delivered my thing that I did somewhere. In Mr. Sunshine. Look at this whole, like, little area. It's, like, kind of paved out by everyone driving here. That's kind of, that's very pleasant. This is a really chill area. It's very pleasant. Hello, yeah. giant mountain. I have to climb in a vehicle that probably can't get there. Hooray. Was this a massive mistake? Probably. Yeah, I was going to say, why are you driving the, the car through the mountain? You know. <laughs> you know, you know, just gonna put a line straight there Just to give me an idea just to orient myself as opposed to actually being able to like tell where I'm going I haven't heard an alarm, so I'm guessing that's we still haven't like fucked up that bad Let's see I'm trying to remember uh, I'm not in the chiral network Am I still what I think I, I can't remember if I'm still allowed to build stuff when I'm not in the chiral network so I think the chiral network means other people's stuff doesn't show up. Oh. That's not a difficulty score at all. It's some f worryingly deep looking water. Oh. There you go. That looks like. Gives me a migraine headache. <sighs> What's that? Is it that, that, um. <laughs> that, that disturbed song where he like starts talking to his mom? And he's like, Mom, don't hit me, Mom. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> she would just fucking die. Oh, oh she all would just fucking die. I like to think that one's kind of fun to sing, too. Yeah, they, I think they censor that entire, entire rant out when they put it in music games. Okay. It's just like a guitar solo with that and like vague rumblings. Because it, it portrays domestic, domestic abuse. Yep. Yep. Or at the very least, they don't make the sing. They don't make you sing it. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> well, show. It doesn't show up as lyrics when you're playing. There, there are, I think it was a. Oh, there are some songs like in rock band or in like guitar oh. hero games where they make you sing like the weird background, like ooh ah ooh. And just all the grass around us just died. That was cool looking. Right there. Yeah, all the grass is dying. Oh. In the rain. That is really cool. You lied to me, chat. You said it was touch only. You gotta, you gotta mash that shit. I believed them. What were they telling you? This one's for you. Oh wait, there you go. Thanks for the help. I wasn't pressing. T I don't think I was pressing it hard enough. Maybe. This one's for you. I don't know. 
Touchpads are weird. I'm, I'll be glad to see them die next generation when people give up on this gimmick that they did for this generation. Yeah. Um, Let's put a touchpad on the controller. They'll love it. I've never used it in the way that you're supposed to use it. I've only used it as a button. I only, yeah, I only use it when it's like the map button. I never use it when it's like, would you like to stroke it to make this thing go whoop a little bit? It's like, no. Do I get to pet a kitty cat? Do I just get to, I get to stroke the... Do I get to pet the kitty? <laughs> Maybe then I'd use it. Uh-oh. Is that bad? Is that slow motion bad? Are you coming at me with the BTs? The music's... did the rain stop? Yeah. Uh, or... Uh, some little hints on the back of my car, it looks like. It's kind of nice that you actually see it Hello, out. Hello, Captain Raincoat. Rained... Captain Raincoat. Oh, it is Raincoat. Captain Raincoat. He gave up on his vehicle, because he's a coward. I'm not a coward, which is why I don't wear a raincoat. <laughs> so Somebody gave me a raincoat once. This is a terrible idea. And, and my doing. thought was like, why would I... Just give me a waterproof jacket. I don't need a raincoat specifically. Yeah. I'm never going to use this. Yeah, we live in California. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I don't know it what I'm talking about. It rains hard once a year, which usually turns into hail anyway. If it's raining hard enough. You go to Disneyland, you go on Splash Mountain. If you wear a poncho, then you're a wuss. <laughs> <laughs> you're on Splash Mountain to get splashed, so you can deal with it. Don't you wear a poncho, you coward. You coward. I saw people wearing... You see the Blue Man Group show, you better want to get those clothes ruined. Yeah! That's what you're there for. <laughs> Just wear shit the the kinds of shitty clothes that you wear when you go when you like paint. <laughs> you know where the splash zone is. Yeah. You don't sit in the splash zone if you don't want to get splashed. Nah. You don't want to go just commit. Splash Mountain Stick if out you don't your want tongue. to get splashed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's not lead paint. Come at me, splash zone. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting really close. Okay, not that close. But like nothing's happened to me so far. I've gone that far. Now I just gotta get through this forest on my right looks like maybe they left all the difficulty what are the whoa what the fuck is that is this rock directions or are they maybe they're building structures that are yeah they're, it's like pieces of iron i'm sorry did you say damaged by vibration just now oh Four percent. I think we'll survive. Ooh. This is a very hazardous item. The antimatter bomb. Yeah, can't imagine. I really can't believe that they put so little. They just gave it to one guy. Like, hey, I know that you're Norman Reedus, but still, like, let's give the faith of all. Yeah, they were like, it's, it's in a special us. box. It should hold together. Lies on you. Oh no, I'm damaging it. I thought they said there was gonna be an alarm. Maybe you can't hear that alarm when you're in a car. Why is it only just now having vibration problems? Um, <clears throat> I drove through all that shit and it didn't matter. I yeah. crashed a few times, kind of. <laughs> it's just like, whatever. That is kind of odd. It's like the special rubble around here that's designed to make the antimatter bomb vibrate. Yeah, this is a good truck. Really good at small hills. Yep. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yep. I wonder if you. Um, well, I'm sure you could. I was uh -oh. like, I wonder if you could tip your truck backwards. Probably hmm. be a little worried about this part. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> so much damage. I'm a <laughs> Every single time I check it, it's less damage than the previous one. First it did 4% damage, then it did 2% damage. That time, 1%. It one. One <laughs> it's like do, the most, do it again, it'll do half percent it's damage. It's literally easy just to walk there at this point. Do you think I'll be far enough away that it'll despawn all the shit in my car again? Like an asshole. Uh -oh. I, I kind of want to see you destroy everyone. <laughs> but then I have to do the whole thing no, again. No, I know, probably. I know. Well, wow, that's a lot of notifications. I wish... Can I scan... Okay, Ooh, that is more that's, now. that's more significant. That is more. That's another eleven percent. Can I? I wish I could track that. Um, like show the damage on the screen while I'm playing. What? Since, since it's the primary objective. Maybe it is because you're in a car. Maybe it'd be more apparent if you were holding it. Maybe. 
Just, just, let's just gun it. Just gun okay. it right now. I need a new map. There we go. Remove that. There we go. Gun it, Keith. Just That's gun the direction it. I'm going Let's in. go. Let's drive really fast. Uh, I mean, we're close enough. I might be able to make it before it hits it reaches, reaches 100%. You, you get a 99% and you hand it to the guy. <laughs> and, and he sneezes when it goes off. <laughs> And then Stephanie sits here and laughs. Ha ha ha. <laughs> it's right there. What's you can that? see Is that the building. Are those floating rocks? Yeah. You know, like the kinds that are just kind of around. I just. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, they've been here all game. Really? Yeah, the floating Gosh, rocks. Gosh, I'm an idiot. They're not like everywhere, but they're around. It's the chiral net. It's the chiral. Well, I know. I've seen them like. When, when you had like the, the bridges and you saw them kind of floating up underneath the bridges and stuff. I don't, I haven't yeah. seen them just like stagnantly sitting in the sky like that. Yeah. It's every now and then ish. I think maybe if we get oh, close, we'll an be animated. I bet I can make it down the slope without <laughs> exploding. <laughs> What's our percentage right now? 1% again. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wish it would just tell me the percentage. Uh, would have been better off not going up on this hill. Shit. Well, because there's a ledge here. Yeah, That's and I, all, I have to go back over the bumpy rocks. It's all risque. But what if I just drive really slow like a baby? I drive in really slow. Like a little babu. Like a little babu. A little driving babu. I was like saying babu because of uh, in the Charlie Brown. In Charlie Brown, that's what Lucy calls Linus. A babu? Yeah, she goes, my sweet babu. You foolish babu. Why did the music get tense? I'm just transporting an antimatter bomb into the mountains. Well, that's what Sally calls Linus, because Lucy is Linus's sister, and I always get their names mixed up. Sorry. Someone, someone in the comments go. was like ready to be like, it's Sally, not Lucy. So. I made it happen with my stupid truck. <laughs> hey, it's okay, I got you. I would be way more willing to get out of my truck if the game didn't delete the shit in my truck if I walked too far away. Yeah, that, that's a really... It's a really off-putting really mechanic. A, yeah, that's a bullshit mechanic. Because otherwise I'd be... I'd, I'd drive it to, like, the closest spot, and then hop right out, run the rest of the way, hop, go back to my truck, go back, and, you know, like, it'd be my system. But everything vanishing off my truck, I'm like, but the whole point of the truck is to carry things. I don't want to just use it to drive, and that's it. Auto arrange me. <laughs> oh, there it is in the middle of my back. I keep it close to my heart for extra radiation. Actually, I don't think an anti—I don't—I don't know things about things really. You don't know anything would be radiated. I don't think a matter antimatter bomb would be uh, would have radiation problems. Because it's not, uh, it's not, it's not really about that kind of bomb anyway. It's like you're not splitting an atom. Well, I, but I, I mean, it's store, it's probably more dangerous than a nuclear would, bomb yeah. when it goes off. I'm, I don't even know how. I mean, it obviously, would depend on how you'd make that. I have no clue how you would make that. Uh, usually, what does that consist of? Antimatter. Where did? Usually, when they talk about antimatter, oh, we have to wait to this. They're gonna talk to us. Evaluation. Ew, they're gonna talk to us? <sighs> oh, this one. Is there not even any people here? I should have had the little robot do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to send little robot on a mission when we were at the last place. He's probably done by the now. The robot would have killed everyone. Actually, I don't I don't know if he finishes stuff in real time or not. But the um Yeah, the uh usually what they have is they have antimatter. Mm-hmm. And they have antimatter in a vacuum tube suspended usually by like Magnetic properties or something to keep it from touching anything because the thing about antimatter is that if it touches any matter Then they annihilate each other and a massive explosion triggers Like all this, antimatter this is, is an impossibility, bad. right? What antimatter existing? Uh, like do we, we don't I sound like an idiot. We don't currently have antimatter. We don't have this ability right? uh, I believe we can, I believe we have like been able to make or find antimatter before Antimatter is a, I, I believe antimatter is real and not well, a fictional concept. Well, I know it's it's real, but yeah. isn't it not on Earth? Uh, it's not easy to find on Earth because if it touches any matter, it explodes. But I think we can create it in a lab. That's we should not do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can create it that well in a lab. <laughs> 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 like not that much. 
I'm concerned uh, for all of us. I'm trying to remember if there was How antimatter involved. I'm trying to remember if there was antimatter involved in the Large Hadron Collider stuff or not. I don't know. I'm out of the loop on this stuff these days. Look at my... What? Have I been 100, level 139 for that long? I don't remember being level, 100, level 139. My god. What have I done? <laughs> I thought that mission was going to be harder, honestly. Yeah, me too. Bridge links. Flip, 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 flip. You now, just, you know. No, I've got one of those crazy levels that I saw other people having, but only level eight. Only still only level eight delivery time. I'm just not a just not a sprinter. I don't play any game quickly. <laughs> I don't play any game quickly. The hell do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. Is that Mama? I thought you people would figure that no. out by right now. No, I was gonna say. We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. Well, I just delivered that you a voice. bomb. Is that yeah, that's mama? what I said. What? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. All right, enough games, Mama. What? <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Hot City is telling you and the UCA. That's Mama. Hey, guy. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're going to put us right back but on not the really road to the We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves. Thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city. That's right. I'm in charge. The name is Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. But we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Well, that's interesting. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. <laughs> okay. Former Bridges One. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lochna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lochna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that led them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingen's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochner around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Very subtle. <laughs> make America whole again. Repeated over and over again. I like how he was like... I don't need you to meddle in their business, but if you meddle did... Meddle the fuck out of their business. That would be cool. Can you meddle, like, <laughs> so hard, please? Like, so hard. Like, well... There's well, no if, orders. If you're there anyway. Hmm. So I cooked... I, in, the, in that brief moment, I cooked up a way more extravagant story behind why they looked, looked alike, and then it was immediately disproven. Yeah, I was gonna say, like... 
Okay. Like, well, tell me your, what's your story, Kate. Like, they turned out to just be twin sisters, but I was like, oh my god. When she gave birth to a BT, she actually kind of like split into like <laughs> BT mama and not BT mama. And this is the real mama that's been here the whole time. We have some kind of like BT hybrid mama that's like a weird like caretaker for the BT baby that's trapped that location forever. And they're originally the same person. See, like... See, I was thinking. Except oh, they're just twins. I which thought, was the first thought I had. But well, eh. I was <laughs> see, my first thought was that too. But I thought it was going to not be that simple because this game is not a game where that would just be how simple the, it yeah. is. So, so when they say, so when they said uh, they're just twins, so we, you, I heard you just go, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. But it, way it, less surprising. He did emphasize that they're basically the same person, so the connectivity theme but, is still yeah, there. There might be still something weird going on with them. I think they don't like each other because I think the uh, Lochna doesn't like uh, Malingan's baby BT oh, attachment. No. 